Howdy, howdy, welcome back to Character Grinding. As it's time to do some round one results and round two predictions for Marvel Contested Champions, uh, specifically arena cutoff predictions for the Sorcerer Supreme and Venom round one results. And then we'll take a look at uh, some past results to kind of figure out what's going on with round two, at least an idea anyway, some predictions on the cutoffs for round two. So anyway, let's start off with those round one results. So for the first time in a long time, we've got a 62 million five-star feature first round cutoff. It's been a while since we've uh, got over that uh, 60 million threshold. So based off the way that I categorize arenas, this would actually, Sorcerer Supreme would fall into that high category. Surprisingly, she's a decent utility champ, but nothing special. I would have probably, in my opinion, probably would prefer long shot over Sorcerer Supreme, although the animations and the gameplay is a little different. But anyway, um, damage wise, since I'm always looking for that next damage champion, um, I would I would say Sorcerer Supreme is a little bit lower than long shot. But anyway, um, we do have our uh, first 62 million in some time. And then jumping over to the four star feature, she came in 11.4 million, which is not uh, unexpected when you look at that first, uh, that five star feature result. Typically, we see that four star feature number a little bit higher than we typically see. And then lastly, jumping over to Venom, a very much expected 1.59 cutoff. And again, these uh, round one results are for the veterans bracket meaning your account has been open for over 60 days. If you got a newer account and you're new to the game, uh, there's two other brackets, uh, beginner and intermediate. Beginner, as the name implies, are for new accounts from day one to day 30. And when I say new accounts, it's from when you open that account. It's not how much you play, but when you've opened that account. For the first 30 days, you will be in the beginner's bracket in the arena, which means your uh, results will be going only against other players with newer accounts. And then the inter intermediate is 31 to 60. Same thing applies. Only accounts that have been open within the 30 day range will be going against one another for their arena cutoff results going for what those rank rewards that's really how that all kind of breaks out and then after 60 days 61 day plus everybody's in the veterans bracket but anyway the numbers you see here are for the veterans bracket because quite simply there's not a place across the community that uh, regularly shares vast numbers of the uh, beginner and intermediate numbers plus there's plenty of um a lot of volatility as just, you know, every 30 days, people are going in and out of those, uh, not every 30 days, like every day people are going in and out of those brackets. So there's just a lot of volatility to kind of even get an idea of what's going on in those earlier brackets. So everything I you know, with my predictions in these videos typically hone in, focus in on the veterans result. But I do for a minute or two give my thoughts um, on those earlier brackets and we'll get to that in a few minutes. But anyway, back to the result for the veterans bracket. Um, comparing these results to my cutoff, so... I did think Sorcerer Supreme would be on the higher end, kind of like we did see on uh, Mojo, but again, I didn't think she would get high enough to break that 62 million. If you look at 10%, 62, 6, plus 55, 61, just missed that 10% threshold. And what am I talking about? I always try to get my pr uh, predictions within 5 to 10%, and uh, with 62 million, just missed that cutoff uh, with that 10%. So, got to do a little bit better. Try to do a little bit better with my predictions from time to time. Same thing with the 4 star feature within 10% just missed that 10% at 11 million um, so real close both of those um, but at the most part but you know what close does this isn't hand grenades and horseshoes folks so doesn't quite make the cut when you get to that 10% now the 1.65 that's right within that uh, 5 to 10% range I always try to get so for the most part but these are pretty decent predictions so I can only try to do better um, so anyway now that I've taken a look at round one results comparing to my predictions let's go get a sense of some of those past uh, arena results what happened in the second round to get an idea of what might happen this time starting first with the four star basic arena as you can see um, with similar type champs Iceman went up in the second round. She-Hawk was pretty much the same thing. Modok actually dropped a little bit, but Miss Marvel went up a little bit. So I think for the most part what we see, especially when it's in the 1.6 range, 1.5, outside of Modok, they typically go higher. And I mean, you can go for, you know, go on and on. Now, once you get over 1718, then it might go a little bit lower. But even with Iceman and She-Hawk, we saw the second round go slightly higher. Now, with the new four-star features... Second round is usually a little bit lower than the first round. And if you look at all four examples of, mo of recent four-star feature champs were added to the game, that's the case. The second round was lower than the first round. And I definitely, since we had over an 11 million first round cutoff uh, for, cut, uh, for Sorcerer Supreme, I think we can expect a lower one this time. And then coming over to the five-star feature, when we were in the 40 million for the first round cutoff, like we saw 
um, with long shot. You, you saw in the second round there's that jump up. And then uh, looking over, and when it's $50 million, we, we we saw a typical decrease. Now, with $62 million, I think we're going to see that with Source of Supreme. I think we're going to see a slight dip following. Once you get above $50 million, second round's typically a little bit lower. If you're in the $40 million range, second round's either on par a little bit higher. Again, since we're in the $60 million range, we'll probably, be a, we'll probably see a slight decrease in round two. So anyway, to recap my thoughts here for round two predictions for the Veterans Bracket for Sorcerer Supreme and um, Venom Marinas for the five-star feature. Again, I think we're going to see a slight decrease down to $54 million. I think we're going to see a slight decrease for the four-star feature coming down to $10 million. And then with Venom, I think for the um, second round, we'll see a slight increase around one65 And for that three-star feature, that's typically a, a lower um, second round number coming in at $1.2 million. Now, as you saw earlier, I mean, this game is not an exact science game for sure so i always try to get within five to ten percent so just in case i'm under again like i was for the, the feature arenas i think um these are going to be grind targets are going to give you a better chance to get it i think 58 million and give you a better chance for the five star feature 11 million for the four star feature 1.8 million for the four star basic and 1.3 million for the three star now i did mention earlier the beginner and intermediate bracket again there's no uh place across the community where people regularly share these numbers their cutoffs what they're getting um i get that information at Occasionally from folks in the community, either in the comment section of my video or on Twitter. And thank you very much for folks who share those results because, again, that's the only way that I can get a, get a sense of what's going on. Anyway, based off of some of that recent input, and again, it's only very anecdotal, very, you know, small numbers. So it's it's not meant to be more, inclu you know, more statistically significant not to say the the veterans number the veteran bracket numbers are but the least are a little bit based off a little bit more actual past results but um anyway with the early ones it's even a little bit more of a ruffle ball bar little bit of ballpark number so keep that in mind as you're grinding through these arenas as it will help um anyway anyway if you get the rank rewards that's going to help your progressing roster anyway. So push as far as you can, but these will give you kind of a general kind of target of what the cutoffs might be. Starting first with the beginner's bracket, three-star feature, around 200,000. Four-star basic, 800,000. Four-star feature, 1.4 million. Then jumping down to the intermediate bracket, three-star feature, around 525. Four-star basic, 950,000. And lastly, the four-star feature, right around 1.3 million. So anyway, these are my thoughts for round two of the Sorcerer Supreme in Venom Arenas. Would love to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions as well, you can throw them in the comment section of this video, or you can also reach out to the Crafty Grinding Twitter account where I have a better shot of actually seeing those. It's just a little easier for me to interact with folks there on Twitter than the comment section of these videos, but um, definitely that's an option as well. Uh, minimally, if you like this video or find it helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button. Is it again? It's a good indicator for me that hey, you like this content. I should keep on making it. Plus, it tells YouTube the same thing, which then might get this in front of other folks as well, which means you're helping out the channel. So, uh, and other than that, if um, if you haven't subscribed and you like the videos I have on this channel, we really appreciate if you if uh, you click that subscribe button as well. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and have a great day.